Oh yeah. Bonus game! The ultimate slow jam means that we're back in the Capcom arcade cabinet. This is volume four? I I don't know. Volume four! Yeah, this is the fourth time we've done one of these. Okay. I don't I don't remember. I'm my memory's not good. That's just how long this has been going on for. It seems like it has always been going on. No, yeah, it's, I, my hope is that it will always go on, but I know that that can't be possible because, look, we've filled in most of the portraits here on the title screen. Yeah, we're kind of down to that last three-pack, huh? The, the grayed-out stuff. I guess so. I guess we're, we're nearing the end of the run here. Uh, so what's this week, Jeff? What This is 1985-2. All right. Um... And we've got Savage Bees, I'm Commando, glad. and the Speed Rumbler. The Speed Rumbler. This, is, this, I think, is the best pack so far. Yeah, yeah. This is this seems pretty strong. Last week was pretty good. Last week was pretty good. But Commando is a bona fide, real, actual, proper, classic video game. Right. Which um, is why we're going to start with Savage which Bees. Which is why we're going to start with Savage Bees. And then the Speed Rumbler, I'm not going to say it's some world-ending, classic, amazing thing, but I really like it. Now let's play Savage Bees. <laughs> Talked up to the two other games. Now, I don't know anything about I'm Savage I'm not going to start the show with a showstopper. We're going to instead play this shooter. Is there anything like uh, Twin Bee? No. Is there anything it's like far more savage. Anything like Pinobi? Way more savage than Pinobi. That's... I feel like you're lying to me now. Look at how this upper level is scrolling at a different rate yeah, than the lower level. level. Parallax rolling. I've got I've got that button I can push, which makes the. I'm not sure what that does. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask the game what that does. Just flicking the lights on the room. Yeah. You're like, hey, stop making out in there. Damn kids. Savage is, is bees. A bomb. Crash. Crash. Assign the button to perform a crash. Well, I guess let's like wait till there's a bunch of things on the screen to. Okay. It looks like it destroys all bullets. Ah, okay. But I've used all my crashes, and now we're doomed. <laughs> and we're not playing with any sort of... Uh... This is not casual mode. This is the real deal. Yep. Go deep inside. Vander Holyfield in video game form. Yep. Oh, that was so savage. Just like that. Putting it to the mat. I... am always bothered by top-down shooters... Uh, where the bullets have limited range. These bees are so savage, they're coming from the back. There's an X up there shooting at me. Back bees. What is that? And that X just, like, appeared in a ripping That's time. That's just a, 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 a sentient beehive. Yep, or a bee's ass. There's another one. I see those rockets. It's the bee bombs. Yes! High point area. Let's go. Skulls! Oh, God. Shoot these freaking skulls. Get pow, that pow, 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 pow. Turn them all into apples. Well, yeah. Now who's savage? How do you like them skulls turned apples? I like them a lot. Oh, get the, get, get, get the three. Yeah. This is a weird game. <laughs> And oh, ran into that skull. We can continue. Why don't we see the end of this level? I'm curious. See if there's a boss or something here. I was gonna say I'm not convinced that there is an end. The, the, there's a level concept in this game. Oh, you think it might I mean, just be? Zebius had big fights, but didn't necessarily. Oh. Oh, and I missed the pow because I was too busy being dead. That's just how savage these bees are. It is pretty savage. It looks it. Nah. Again, it's got that. Uh... Oh God. Oh. I'm supposed to collect those for more stuff, right? Oh no. No, these ones. Oh, hate I gotta you. fight a giant H. I didn't realize this game was gonna culminate in giant H fights. It's it's really the first like message game, and in this case, you're fighting your crippling heroin addiction. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet lemon! Ah! Oh, oh, I didn't get the lemon. But I blew up the stupid H. All right, nice that fight. was a nice fight. Thank you. See, that was worth it. That was worth the wait. And I went to round two. Round two. Round two. Oh, 
now it's turning into Galaga. Or more so. Oh. This music's stressful also. It is. And I'd say reminiscent of Xevious. Like that kind of... Yeah, kind of everything about this game is... Yeah, well, you yeah, there's only one fire button. There's no... The but, concept of dropping bombs. But this kind of up-down level thing. It's pretty savage. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh. Where are these savage bees? This seems like some sort of alien hellscape here. The backstory behind this game. Clearly, there's going to be some sort of yeah. strong fiction. Okay. Let's go peek at the casual options and see if they've somehow changed them radically since. I bet uh, it's collision detection and yep. uh, they've made it easier. Uh, more. I'm going to enter my initials into the Buzzed Bees Hall of Fame. <laughs> You're saying you didn't do as well as you would have otherwise because you were wasted? Yeah, I got fourth, you know. Jack still. Keck. I didn't realize the Horde played this game. Uh, Jack, short for Jenkum? Yes. No, this is not where I'm going. The most savage of Savage Bees wallpaper. More Savage Bees wallpaper. Oops. Oh. Oh. Well. Let's just start it and see if we can suss out. I think the shots are going further, aren't they? <coughs> no, it's about the same. You also get more distance when the lower area is revealed. Or, yeah, yeah, so it goes shorter up here, I think. Hmm. Banana! So you're fighting these savage bees, but you're just a little ship. Well, I, or they're giant bees. Oh, yeah, that I mean, that would be pretty savage. I assume that they, the, the bees are giant and you're not tiny. Okay. I'm just saying as far as you're not some other insect or, you know, a non-savage bee. Right. Or maybe there's like a bee flying the ship. I don't know. Spoilers. Uh, yeah, well, you know, they're not really giving up any fiction here, so filling in the blanks. Take that, evil exes. Much like these evil exes. All my evil exes live in Savage Bees. Mm-hmm. Like my bumper sticker says. Yep. But my shots are more powerful. Yeah. By a fair amount. It does seem like you're doing better here. I also feel like I just bumped into that bee and killed it. Yeah. Kind of, <laughs> kind of seems like that as well. I don't really know what to make of that. Or at least what, you're... Yeah. Nope. At least you're, maybe your collision detection is more uh, High point forgiving. area. High point area. That pow, get that pow. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh. All right. That's Savage Beast. I don't like your movement speed. I could either, yeah. I, I would like to move a little slightly faster than this. Uh, does it seem like your back movement is slower than your forward movement? It does. Or maybe uh, it's but that, because of the scrolling. Yeah, it might just be a mistake or a, a visual trickery because of the scrolling. I don't know. Yeah. Alright. Savage bees. Savage bees. Them bees is savage. They are! Alright, so now you have to make the <clears throat> the hard choice We're gonna here, play Jeff. Commando because it's right here. Alright, that's the easy choice then. Alright, before you go into this, let's look at the... The the option the options? Option, the, yeah, the... Yeah, alright. No. Okay, there we go, yeah. So, collision detection, more lives, continues, continues available. Weapon range, weapon more, range grenades. more grenades. Enemies Enemy are less accurate, and enemies rarely attack. Sounds pretty cash. Sure does. Uh, as far as, like, achievements and stuff go in this game, I imagine they are locked off from... It's like, do it all without yeah, casual yeah, mode. Yeah, it's, it's all... I think it's all arcade mode. We can take a quick look. I haven't peeked at this stuff at all, actually. Have a quick look inside the quick look as yeah. we take a quick look at these achievements. Get out my phone and start filming this. Yeah. Uh, so they have some, some stuff that's real 
just kind of top level, but some specific beat this guy. Although none of that none of this actually says don't play in casual mode, but I I don't know. They're not defeat the Wingate family. I guess they're not obligated to to well, spell it out. Centipede. In these, right? No, I guess they don't necessarily have to. There might be something on the menu that says achievements are disabled or something like that. Reach the end of Zap Town. Yes, yeah, so they've got uh, two achievements per game. All of them five pointers, yeah. Yeah. Commando is a, is a killer game. Um, some of the other versions of it are maybe a little more fondly remembered in some parts of the world. I think the C64 version had such rad music. Uh huh. Um, the NES version had weird um, secret rooms you could go into. I, you know, I didn't even know uh, at the time, like through the 80s uh -huh. and well into the 90s, that there was any sort of connection, like not fictionally, but any sort of connection between Commando and Bionic Commando. Well, I, yeah, I mean, there, there's a direct fictional connection because you're playing as Super Joe here, and in Bionic Commando, you rescue. I mean, Super I, I, Joe, I, I so didn't even put together the, yeah. like, they were published by yeah. the same oh, company. Sure, yeah. Type thing, but then the realization of oh shit, Bionic Commando is just Commando, but Bionic. These guys do their little dances, they're dying. <laughs> they look like they're just, like, ah, wearing. I've got yellow stuff on me. Yeah. Get it off, get it off. So it's a two button game, shooting yep. and grenades. I don't know about this rarely shoot stuff thing. Seem to be still shooting. All right, we, we save this guy. We got one of them. Are you sure you? There we go. Saved him. He's pretty still. Are you sure you turned on casual mode? I, I'm. I yes. The, look at the number of lives I have. Oh yeah. Guys on a motorcycle. Just here's some coconuts from from Quentin. Those aren't coconuts. And you got to kind of. Skitter in this game to get your shots fanning out, you know. It's, uh, but your grenades always go up whenever you hit the button, so that's, that's your tactic for doing a little sideways run. You didn't handle the guys and then to straight the dropping the bombs on them. Yeah, if this is <laughs> casual, uh, this, this seems kind of hectic, man. Yeah, well, they are less accurate. I feel like I'm. Oh, get that guy, get that guy, get that guy. Whew. All right. Hang out, have smoke. Have no face. Put our foot up on this box here. I smoked my face off! And we're going to rush to the second area where there are jeeps and stuff. Yikes. I know. Can you get in that jeep? No. No. Whoop. Gold. Those are grenades. Oh, okay. And you're right. I did. Oh, oh, oh. Whew. Guys in the water, just chilling. I was going to say, so if a grenade passes you while it's in the arc and hasn't touched down, you are still safe. Yeah, seems. yeah, it's just where it lands. I blew up that... Uh, but the arc is weird because it seems like in some cases it'll... Yes. If it's, it's being thrown from up... A, from a perspective perspective, it is a little strange. Well, kind of the whole... Like you're saying, having to like weirdly feather and fan the the joystick to, to get your kind of coverage that you need. Yeah. Still doesn't have a face. Broke the second area, though. Seems clumsy. Enjoying this energy drink. Like, this is clearly before... I guess Robotron had existed already, so the dual joystick concept was already out there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. But, you know, it wasn't necessarily appropriate for all games. No. That might have been kind of a cool thing to see for a game like this, but... You know, there's this. There was, you know, you had Akari Warriors with the rotating joystick. Right. Uh, which I thought was kind of an interesting, interesting way to handle it. I really liked that game in arcades. Take that truck. Can I blow up that truck? Guess not. That guy's just throwing dynamite out of that truck. 
Uh, was... That's living right there. That'd be so much fun. Oh god, there's not enough Jeep oh, there. Oh, I fell down. Did you see that half a Jeep? No. There was half a Jeep back there. What are you talking about? You should walk no straight. thing is half a Jeep. Oh. oh. This is tricky. I know there's not such a thing as half a Jeep, which is why it was upsetting to me when I saw it. Right there! Right there! What? What the... Strange things are afoot Dogs. in Commando. Man. You've lost your mojo. Keeps checkpointing you back to the same spot. Nah. Oh, no. no it The uh, the arcade version of Akari Warriors and the uh, NES version uh, looks so radically different. It's not even the same game, you know. Like yeah. some basic ideas about Wasn't, getting into tanks. I was gonna and say that sort of so. Stuff, but. So Akari Warriors in an arcade, if you're playing single player, you looked a whole lot more like Rambo, right? Yes. Okay. Because it was so different looking that for a long time I had trouble like connecting the two. Like I thought that was just a different game entirely. Right. Like even by name. Like it was way more jungly and your sprite was way bigger and I feel like the even like the the path felt narrower. And it didn't get as weird. Um, the arcade version definitely it was more just straight up. Yeah, it was a little more straight up, you know, jungle fighting action. Yeah. Whereas the NES game, at some point, is just gets strange, or or, or stranger. Yeah, it's, I, I mean, mean, it's no victory road. Like, yeah, I know. Like later, Akari Warriors games got they all got weird. So SNK count on them for being out of their minds. Always. Burn it all! I've always, oh my god! Burn it all! You just went into that building. And set it on fire, and now I'm flying away. While Victorious you were, for while America. You were, while you were in the building. That I finished my first duty. Dangerous. And now we're flying back to the beginning of the game so we can do it all over again. Really? Really. It's like Donkey Kong, man. Four levels. Oh no, this is this layout of some of the stuff is a little different. I say this seems slightly different at least. And they're not reinventing any wheel here. So sure. if <clears throat> if you don't move forward, you guys just constantly spawn or? I believe so, yeah. I think they'll just keep coming. That part's scary. You can't even see where you're yeah, going. Yeah, it's a little crazy. You shouldn't do that. Oh! Oh, it's Whoa. a tail. Oh, I like that they'll eventually away. kind of abandon their posts if you if you run past them, and we'll just sit there behind their rock. If you run past the rock, they're like, we, we're gonna get that guy. Commando's a pretty good game. Yeah, this is, okay, yeah. It's not, not quite the same. Yeah, that pool wasn't there before. And there were no, uh, I didn't see a guy being held hostage. Oh, yep, yeah, nope. Oh, well. Oh, hey. Walk on water, I guess. But they do call it the first area again. It's the first area in my second tour. Hmm. You're not smoking this time. It's time you're just tending to the fire. Yeah. You ran out of smokes. Whoa. All right. Commando. That's Commando. Definitely. Commando's a pretty kick-ass game. There was Frontline. But, you know. Which had, uh, like, a, another kind of, ro it was like a rotating thing like Akari Warriors, but it wasn't just on the stick. There's a separate aiming paddle, basically. Like, make no mistake, go walk through that water. I can't. You die. You walked through that other water. Yeah, but that's because the game was pulling me through the door to go to the end of the level. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you just... No, I didn't manually walk through that. Okay. Then I would not have suggested you go through that water. My apologies. That guy is hanging out in the water. He's fine. I know. Super Joe, not a strong swimmer. Not that super. Well, the super like... was originally in quotes. 
fair enough. Uh, so, you know, Commando, a, uh, <clears throat> I, I maybe think important is a, a little highfalutin, but a, an influential game yeah. for its time, uh, but still this also feels kind of uh, like a prototype to this style of game. It's shooting automatically now. Oh, I really? Know if, I don't know if the trigger's broken or maybe the trigger access. No, it stopped. Maybe it just queues up so many button presses when you hold down the auto fire button for a while that it just has to dump at the end. Like, this seems like a good version of Commando, and, you know, Commando, like, holds up to a certain degree. But at the same time, like, I would hope for... I'd rather play this than like, that Commando 3 Wolf of the Battlefield thing they did. Oh, sure. That's downloadable a while back. That thing was not great. Also, Mercs is the sequel to this game. The Capcom game, Mercs. Oh, like the actual sequel? Yes. In Japan, it was not called Mercs. I was going to say, is that... that's Commando 2? Yeah. Or it's... it's it wasn't called Commando in Japan Wolf of the either. Battlefield. Senjo no Okami or Ukami or something, so. Right. Which I think means Wolf of the Battlefield, so it's why when they brought out that third game uh, to download services, they called it that. Also, I think the game Commandos meant that they lost the rights to using the term Commando. Yeah, I was gonna say. In games. Which is the real tragedy here. I think Mercenaries means that they can't call that game Mercs anymore either. But, like, I would rather, I guess I would rather be playing uh, Ikari Warriors for this style of game from this era. Yeah. Uh, Ikari Warriors is kind of a hard game to, to emulate and stuff because, you know, that rotating joystick. I mean, you, you can kind of use a, you know, rotate left, rotate right buttons or something to kind of get that done. Um, but yeah, but it's not quite right. It's not quite right. I, I Though that it. rotating joystick was kind of a, like a, you know, it was bad for your wrist. Mm, so yeah. you're rotating the joystick as you were trying to move the joystick. Which, yeah, it's just you know, a lot of like, like the front line controls of having a separate paddle. I think. Pushing into the up left and then having to like try and twist. Yeah, like right. works, works a little better. Um, but you know, I don't know. It feels like they designed that game with that stuff in mind. At sure. least, so it's not necessarily. I just I feel like that brings some of the guard tower, guard tower, some of the uh, the weapon variety and kind of the encounter variety that you might not see in this, where it's just right. You've got your gun. You've got grenades, you've got a billion dudes. Whereas Car Warriors had, you know, weapon, tanks and weapon little... pickups and tanks and... It's a pretty nice building you got here, guys. I'm gonna burn it! Oh my I'm god! I'm gonna burn it! You monster! I'm in here still! Super Joe! Super arsonist? Yeah. Congratulations. Your every duty finished! I finished my every duty. Dude, you just finished Commando? I did. This Whoops. has been our Commando Endurance run. Whoops. Yeah, sorry for <coughs> spoiling the hot conclusion of Commando. <coughs> so what, now the credits start rolling? That's what this is? Yep, this is the credits. I'd like to thank... Shoot me! Shooting guy. The collision detection's pretty crazy. Those guys are pretty bad mode. shots. Just run. See how long you can just run. I gotta save that guy. Stick and move. Pacifist mode. Yep. Super peacekeeper, I'm just here to inspect the facility up here. I am not going to set it on fire when I get there, I assure you. Can't you, can't you tell he's wearing blue? He's from the UN. Yeah. This might be a problem. No, they eventually all run off screen. Oh, I yeah. think. Can you beat Commando never fucking shooting a sh firing a shot? I think he probably might be able to. Alright, well let's not do that here, but I do want to see if this actually does just peter out eventually. Yep, that guy left. Uh, I'm still shooting you. Kind of trying. And these super slow bullets. 
Like I just disappeared into that closed gate. Yeah. Better smoke a little bit here before we go on. Broke the first area. Now rush to the second area. Hey, buddy, can I have a ride? I'm just trying to get to the top of... Oh, man. Whoa. Just steal all your grenades. That Jeep just hopped over it's all got, those trenches. So it's got four-wheel drive. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's a Hummer. You were just borrowing his Humvee. Yeah. Beige Hummer all summer. This would be harder in, in the non-casual mode, but... But it's still possible, it seems. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That'll do. I want to. I want to die. Okay. And and see if we get those achievements or if we've gotten those achievements. I just want to finish the game out. Oh. The love theme from Commando. <laughs> Look at this letter spin. I didn't even realize this was how you were. Entering your name. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Blew the competition out of the water. I did all right. Don't push the start button. But I can continue. I know it's flashing. You've been conditioned to do what flashing text says. Yeah, push start button. That's what I'm going to do, right? Let's see if I got that stuff. <sighs> nope. So you gotta do it for reals. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That's pretty status quo for... Yeah, there you go. See, it says achievements cannot be unlocked. Okay, great. Level, yeah, so. right there. Yeah. Smack in our face. All right. Show us... Prove to people, Jeff, why they should care about the speed rumbler. I feel like last time we showed some of that stuff because the music is so awesome. It's pretty ill. But it's also, like, this is a pretty sophisticated game for its time. Yeah, sure, yeah. In I mean, World of Traps. It is a, right. you know, kind of weird proto-GTA in some of its mechanisms here. You can say that. It's a game in which you are a car that shoots. And it's very Mad Maxi here, you know. Like, give you some imagination, I think, to get that much out of it. But, um, but we got to get to Zap Town. Only on 24 hours. It's a terrorist group. It's a family. We got to bring back peace. The only way to go is to get to the end and kill Zapper. Love Zapper. So, I can jump out of the car. I can shoot. I can shoot when I'm in the car. I can shoot other cars, I can bash into other cars, and they eventually catch on fire. I mean, to me, this that is next level, being able to I get out of the car. Oh, now yeah. they're explosive barrels? Yes. Yeah, if you hit them again, they, they will blow up. I can run this guy over. I can get that bonus. Now my shots are better. By rescuing those hostages. You get sick hammers. So you have to, like, pick them up by running them over? Yes. Is there any sort of backtracking here, or are you just... Nope. Uh, well, no, I can go no. back that far. Okay. Oh. Get some speed, because it's the future. This is uh, a lot easier, also. Oh, there's some dudes back there. I was gonna say, you, you are playing on casual mode, right? Yes. Yeah, this game, yeah, I mean, those, those trucks, they roll back and forth, the ones I just blew up there. They are yeah. not that normally that easy to blow up. Oh, that really, <laughs> driving through that thing really took it out of my car, though. Clear path. Going home. Got some fresh health. Uh, those trucks usually drive back and forth and pin your car in and, and really, really screw you up. Like, like that. that. See like that? that one there? Yeah. 
you kind of have to get out like that and pull one of those. How's the car handling in this? It's it's pretty loose. It's uh, you know it's deliberately squirrely. All right, we're getting some force scrolling here. I am. Because we got to keep up with this thing. Uh, Jeff, what would you say is the uh, the analog, if there is one, to the the driving controls here? Just trying to um, get it. Well, I mean, it's, it's an eight-way joystick, so I'm not like hitting the gas or anything like that. I'm just pushing in the direction that I want to go. Got it. Um, so, so it's not like Spy Hunter, really. Um, so there's no sort of like gas and brake trying to. Right. No, but see, I'm pushing up, and now if I push down, it eventually spins out like that. Okay. You know, so it, it's it's kind of like you're you're rolling around the eight-way joystick to kind of make these turns. You're not necessarily going from up directly to left. You're kind of going so through diagonals. So there's a little weight will kind of kick out. Yeah. All right. And it keeps a time here. You know, it keeps a lap time. How long it takes you to get to these different uh, checkpoints, yeah. and you, you get bonuses based on how you do. So you've got. Dudes These that you rescued, and then you've got. I'm just looking at your top bar. That's, uh, there. that's extra lives. Peace Villag finished. Uh -uh. Nice run. Uh, so those are your extra dudes. Those are those are extra lives, and then the the other stuff below that is uh you know current power up situation. I like that it starts you out of the car. You how far get can in. you how far can you go without you the can car? Go. You can just go. I am. I mean, so when the you know. When I do die, uh, as long as I'm not getting pinned in and, and blown up by some of those trucks, but if I just take a bunch of damage, eventually my car catches on fire and blows up, at which point I need to get the hell out of that car. And so if you're not in the car when it blows up, then you then are... Then you live, uh, and, but you're on foot, uh, and eventually a van will pull up with another car. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, that sounds about um, right. Kind of spy hunter weapons van, almost. Yeah. I'm just rocking too hard to this music right now. Yeah. It's time we got another scrolling section here. Oh, 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 Jesus. Well, whatever. Let's, let's, we should know. I got Get some the health. health. Oh, that okay. didn't matter. Yeah, so that'll just blow you up. And I can hit this button to do little rolls, but at some point you're just going to get run over like that. Yeah. Uh, unless you can kind of hold it down long enough to, to get another car to show up. But in this scrolling section, that is not that's not going to happen. So, so you've got these power ups up in the corner. What are those actually? How are they affecting you? Uh, they're giving me uh, a longer health uh, meter for the car. Okay. They're making my shots stronger. Their speed boosts. Nice uh, and stuff like that. All right. See if we can hold it down. That, that car being on screen might actually screw it up. Yeah, casual mode, the shots are a little more powerful. <coughs> and on foot, you don't have any weapons other than just your regular yeah, gun. Yeah, I can, I can roll, you can do a uh, roll. to kind of get out of the way, but, but I've just got this. That gun's pretty ill, though. Yeah. At least in casual mode. Right. Purple Kamikaze what car just there? slammed into the side. Of, it's got some sort of propeller on the back. There, see? There's our, our oh, car. Shit. Now we're Audi 5. The car's going nuts. Yeah, Purple Car's losing it. Purple Car's all, I came here to run into other cars. What these rocks will do. Mine. Oh, God. Yeah. That's, that is the speed rumbler. That's pretty uh, cool. Yeah, I think the, the, the handling is a lot of fun. Um, it's pretty awesome. You know, that's, that seem uh, pretty arcade true to it does. you. Yeah, and I think it's cool that there's a version out of this out that people can play. Have uh, it come out on other anything other than, I don't than arcade? Know that it did. It might. You know, there's probably like a, a C64 version or right. something weird like that. Some but computer version. You know, there was never an 8-bit Nintendo version. Huh. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of it's, it's like one of these kind of forgotten games that uh, 
when when Capcom was making like Bionic Commando and stuff like that, there was definitely a point where I was like, you guys should just make a gritty. Oh, modern. you mean with with rearmed and yeah, yeah, like that era. When okay, they were, yeah. when they're you know we're kind of bringing that stuff back. Yeah, I was like wouldn't it be cool as they're kind of thinking about these old properties and, and that sort of stuff if they just made you know car based uh, adventure game. Interstate 76 or something, Mad Max. Uh, but there's just not a lot of sort of thing. It's not a, not a highly visible classic game. It's Absolutely not. Not, not a lot yeah. of people know about this. Yeah. So, but you know, it, it, it's definitely a harder, a harder sell. I, I imagine. St I still think that you know, there's something to be said for games in which you are driving a car that is armed and shooting perhaps other cars that are doing that that are not arena based and twisted metal, you know? Uh, yeah, totally. Oh, oh, the cliff. Gotcha. Um, I mean... Yeah, I mean, this is a combination the likes of which, like, you just didn't see then or really much of now. At least not, you know, I mean, you know, Spy Hunter had... It's stuff, but it, you know, it was definitely not. You know, it was force scrolling. It was, it was like driving game first in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, and you know, road blasters, another. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Road blasters. Yeah. Road blasters. Who would own that now? I guess that'd be Warner. Through the midway. Someone stuff. should put out road blasters. Yeah. Do it. I don't care who. All right. I'll get on that. Thank you. And uh, that's it for this pack. There's, I guess there's only one more pack left, and then then we'll get access to those two bonus games, which, again, are not and that's, great that, bonuses. That's, that's like uh, two weeks from now, right? Or No, that'd be next week. It's next week, yeah. Uh, next week, uh, I think, is when the next pack comes out, and I believe that is the, the final pack. So Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, Jeff, thanks for uh, giving us a look here at Savage Bees, Commando, and the Speed Rumbler, uh, available now as the 1985 Pack 2 on Capcom Arcade Cabinet. Yeah. How much is that? Ten bucks. T ten bucks. I don't think it's a great price. No. <laughs> for these three games. Like, this, at the end of the day, this whole thing's kind of <laughs> dicey. <laughs> Now I feel bad about being on these. I, I assumed it was like five bucks a pack. Yeah, that'd which, be way better. Which would have been be like way better. perfect for what you get here. But that's you want to talk about why old games are never going to get revived in any kind of big mainstream way? It's because of that. Everyone wants a little too much money for them because they, you know, they, their work has to go into making these packages. And right, right. And, and at some point, the games aren't always worth it. Oh, explosions! And that's the the ultimate bummer. Mm -hmm. One of the game room legacy right there. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, well, paying too much for Intellivision games. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know about the cost as well, yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Hipping me to that, and that's uh, that's it. See you guys.